As the party interrogates the lone sky pirate, Frank searches the rest of the ship to find a letter addressed to the deceased Captain Grimrot. The letter speaks of a tomb southeast of Tamhelm, which is being used to store a mystical artifact of priceless value. It also mentions that the tomb is being kept secure by a clan of Golimes, known as the Stonefists, and that the artifact will soon be relocated west across the border. With the Sky Pirate at the wheel, the party set a course for the tomb and enter the new province of Algalor, a land laid with vast forests and deadly jungles. After disembarking, the party make a rough landing in the forest and fall into a thick marsh. Everyone manages to escape in time, except for Jeff, who begins sinking rapidly. While struggling to break free, everyone is shocked to see an old rotting Ent emerging from the thick sludge behind him. The old Ent latches onto Jeff with its vines and begins to pull him deeper into the forest as the rest of the party tries to save him. If Celsius was here, the entire forest would be on fire by now. Yep. How do you know it isn't? <laughs> oh. I vote Jules tries to, uh, to seduce the old end. Or tries to seduce the old end. Tough to go, isn't it? That's Jeff. That's Jeff. <laughs> Alright, Dad. <Yes>. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's me again. Um, you never loved me, Dad. Why? How's Mother? Still playing the bass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's still playing third bass. Oh, Jesus. Please do. Please yes, do. I I'm going try. to try and befriend the old end, not seduce him. Oh, so lame. I can, lame. I can tell it to be your dad, Jules. What? Be my dad. <laughs> be his dad. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you gonna do that, Jeff? You got charm. Be mine. You can charm him. Do we need an internal crew? An old internal crew? Yes. Okay. I'll try and convince the Ent to join with you. <laughs> so I look down into the swamp. Is he below the surface, this dude? No, he he's he's out now. Oh, okay. And he's on land, and he's just pulling you out. With he's a pulling me out of the swamp. There's a <laughs> his one of his roots is around your arm, and he's pulling you out. Oh, that's fine then. I don't even tell him. He doesn't look happy though. <laughs> If he's helping me, I don't leave him to help me. And then I'm out there swimming, I just go, thanks mate, and just walk off. Okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Alright, so Jeff's just gonna, he's gonna fold his arms and wait. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fold his arm, sorry. Um, I can fold too. <laughs> he crosses his legs. <laughs> they weren't originally his arms, but he'll fold them. Do you trust the Ent is just gonna put you down then? Ah, I'll see what happens at the end. If he doesn't put me down, he's probably going to put down to inspect me. Then I'm probably going to be a bit vocal about my complaints. What, what, you, what, what are the rest of you doing? The rest of me is just sort of like waiting to be. No, no everyone else. Oh, What's okay. everyone else doing? Well, I'm in Bugs. tears, thinking I thought I was the last of my kind. I'm having, I'm having a meta crisis. <laughs> 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 right. I didn't, know, I didn't know that I came. From, there were others with me. God, the wind here is. Pauling. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you're having a meta crisis. Um, Frank, what are you what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna grab onto his onto uh, Jow. Is he being pulled out or Jeff? Jeff. You're gonna grab onto Jeff. Right, Jeff. Je I'm gonna grab onto your feet. Jeff, are you gonna resist or? I will let the jelly grab onto my feet. Right, so we got. Is, is the jelly stuck in the swamp with me? She, no, 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 no I'm she's, to save you. she's oh. unaffected by the swamp. Hey, if, he's trying to, if they're trying to pull me out of the swamp, why are they trying to fight at the end? They're trying to rescue me. Because he might take you somewhere else. He, he might, might not he let might you might go. Put, <laughs> oh, look, I found another one. That's not one of us. He might do things to you, Jeff. <laughs> like what? Talk to me. <laughs> we really are racist, aren't we? That's <laughs> racist. <laughs> right. So, let me get this straight. There's a tug of war match going on here. <laughs> With a rotting end, an old, poor, confused, angry, rotting end, and Frank. A Je oh, yeah. Alex, yeah. Oh, that's all I can do, really. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I have no choice. Just pull on his feet. 
Xiao and Augustus, what we're doing. I'm going to try and reason with it. What, what are you going to say? I well, need to walk up to the swamp's edge and, and say, uh, hi, sir. Well, sir. Like, uh, hello, sir. <laughs> I'm going to say, say hi. I'm just going to stand there, look at a bit, uh, look up at it, and wave and say hi. Just, just okay. Hi. Um, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> right. Hello. Nothing. I think would have there's died no. By now, there's so. no change. Nothing's happened. <laughs> He's just completely blanked you. He's focused. He might be Rejected. deaf. He might be deaf. You don't know. He's just. What's if over He's here too, focusing mate? on getting Did Jeff out wanker? of the water to do non such I'm gonna go up to the end and hold his hand. And he's on. He's on the other side of the swamp. Oh, Jeff. Sorry. He's, he's on the other side of the marsh. Oh right. Okay. So you're so you, up you're all him. on one side. Frank's holding Jeff, who's almost at the other side of the marsh, with the Ent pulling him towards him. Help! 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 Alright, uh, I'm just gonna, uh, pull, uh, pull, um, Frank then, so we're all gonna, we all pulling each other they're, to Frank they're, him up. They're too far away, they're almost at the end, the other end of the marsh. Have so. you got a gun or something you can Wait. throw? So yeah. I, where have I gone? So I've gone off somewhere. You're <laughs> on the gone. side you always were on with Frank. The only person on the other end of the marsh is the Ent, pulling <laughs> Jeff towards him, with Frank latched on. Yeah, and Augustus gonna... is just sort of standing there trying to make conversation with it. Have yeah. you got long range? Well, uh, I have a flintlock, except it's probably, okay, it's probably not loaded because I just picked it up after it's discarded. Right. Um, I can do nothing because I really can't think of anything I can do right, right now. Right, okay, that's so fine, that's far, fine. I'm so far from the other, I'm far away from the other. The Ents have plenty of time to pull Jeff towards him. He's reached him and he grabs Jeff under the arms, like the shoulders, I guess, and the arm, lifts him up like a baby. Because he's quite, he's, he's a lot bigger than Jeff, even though Jeff's quite big, and he sort of holds him in front of him. And it, it sort of like presses Jeff together, so he's all scrunched up. Um, <laughs> and then he grabs him by the leg, and then let goes of his other hand, so that he ends up swinging upside down, and then um, begins walking forward um, over the marsh to your side. Oh, he's coming for us as well. So he's holding Jeff upside down. Back again for the fifth bloody time. I'm going to uh What happened to me? You're oh I guess you're on Jeff as well, aren't you? Yeah, I'm still holding on for dear life. So you're holding on to Jeff as well, so you're both there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to uh aim and uh fire the Finlock, assuming it's not loaded. I mean uh I wish it's loaded or not loaded, but I'm just gonna it's, aim and speak. It's not <laughs> it's not loaded because oh, Well the sense. captain fired it and then you guys oh, yeah. like Course, you all lunged at him when he didn't get a chance to reload. So yeah. did someone loot the body of the, of the captain? No. Uh, I don't. I still have the body of the captain. Oh wait, no, you've got the body of the captain. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I uh, forgot about that. How yeah, did the pirate not see that? The body of the captain while he's. So the yeah. How did the pirate not see? It? Okay, yeah. All right, cool. So you're. Um, some, some ammo. Something. You yeah you find you find some you find three shots in the in one of his pockets. Um, you find a dead gerbil, some tissues, a packet of chewing gum. I show you. Uh, I'll give, uh, can I pass you the the shots and the gunpowder pouches? The the end is the end's halfway to you now. I'm going to uh, load the flintlock. I'm going to struggle wildly slashing at things with my cleaver. What things? I'm going to try slashing at the um, Ents' arm or the tree branch or whatever they're holding on to. I slash and crack and try and like hack my way out of his grip because I'm going to swap down and realize he's just going to take me hostage. His arm, because it's because he's so old and it's rotting away, it's, it, you just you cut straight through it and you fall back into the marsh again. And now, he, and he's like, he, he just looks at his arm and he's all surprised. Oh. Frank, this is your chance to get Jeff back, back to the shore. I will do that then. You want to do that? Okay, so yeah, you pick him up and you drag him across. And yeah. Good, so you're all back on the shore. What, um, the end, 
realizes you know he's failed and whatever he was going to try and do there. Um, what are you all going to do now? Okay, I'm going to aim it at him, but, uh, but not fire him. Just just threaten him with it. Just uh, threaten him with it. Yeah. Okay. He looks at you. He has a sort of a bland face. Sort of looks a bit glum. Uh, I don't think and he needs shooting at. He, I don't think we should kill him. He doesn't do anything. Oh. He just stands there and just stares yeah. right at Augustus. He's an old elk or whatever it is. So bro- you know, his yeah. broken oh. arm. We've disturbed his swamp. <laughs> this is Marshall. <awesome. laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really his fault, you know. Let's just go, and if he follows us, then we'll have to deal with it. Right, so you all leave. Now that you're all back together, you, you head east through the forest, following the, the coordinates, um, and eventually you come to a stop when you reach a stone ruin up ahead. The, the ruin has three um, stone go limes outside it, patrolling the entrance with their massive arms to lift their bodies. Um, but they're jelly. No, they're still ma- they're, they're go limes. Okay, fine, yeah, they're j- made out of jelly. So they're, j- they're jelly golems, which, like, they use their arms to walk and lift their, ar- their bodies up with their arms. Um yeah. And there, there's three of them at the entrance of the, the tomb. Um, they look pretty tough to fight, so you need to find a way to enter, and preferably without being caught by them. Oh my god. Oh. So you found the tomb, you found what you're looking for, but you just need to get inside. Either uh, completely... Who has, high, who has the highest extent? Have you got things that maybe dress me up as a woman, like a really attractive... Female. Okay. If I could go up to there. You've heard pyro's clothes. You're an attractive female pyro. What's the wing nose on flight? I'm still wearing those flight clothes. But they're not even human. They're a lot of golems. Go yeah, lines. Go lines. Where did we get to the golem? I can put on a female costume, so I need some hair. Like, uh, does anyone have any leaves that they can attach to my head and stuff? <coughs> yeah, I've got leaves. Yeah. I have a silver ring I can give you, just to wear. Yeah. Like gold teeth. I can yeah, I can make myself like a little necklace, I can stick it to my neck. So make it look like a necklace. You can work in some emergency dental surgery. <laughs> <laughs> and give me some gold teeth. And I can put the, well, I've got the mayor's trinket, but I don't know if we want to risk putting that around my neck. Uh, dress we up. Fashion, like, we fashion my gold teeth collection into a nice necklace for her to wear. Yeah. Okay. Source some clothes and some <laughs> So you're gonna dress her up in pirate clothing, make her a necklace of gold teeth. Yeah. Anything else? <laughs> well, it's <laughs> moving morbid. Are <laughs> 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 gonna? <laughs> you're, she, the sky to the juice to go on. She's gonna make look more like a warning than a. <laughs> you know, like stay away. Thing by wearing my things like kill. What? Anything, anything else you're gonna? The saucer up with. So we've got gold teeth and clothing, clothing pipe. So I'll dab my neck with some air freshener. Car. Okay. <laughs> so car. Well, it's pine freshener. It's lime. <laughs> car air freshener. Yeah, I guess so. That's the most common it, air freshener for cars. Is, so. it, is it one of those, is it like a spray or is it one of those like pieces well, of card which you hang up? Yeah, I was thinking it's like a card thing, so I'd just rub it's it terrible. on my neck. Here's a tear of pieces of a stick with yourself. You tend to pieces. Or not. I was thinking I was just going to rub it into um, my jelly, but yeah. Do you think that's enough? So, gold teeth necklace, pirate clothing. It smells like a car freshener. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. And I just need some hair. So some leaves. I'll put some leaves over me. Yeah. Okay. This is an amazing mental image right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go. Right, you're ready for your date with a goal line. Well, I'm quite large, so I don't know. Um, I could go around and you could hide behind me or something and you could just or I'll go round to one side, try to catch their attention and then you can, you guys can just run past. Yeah, like I thought we just like sneak around. Is the ru- are the ruins overgrown? Uh, yeah. the, on the outside, yeah. 
Okay. Not so much in the inside. You can't really see too well in the inside, but it's, it's not like pitch black or anything. I'm gonna walk up to one side of them so that they're looking to one side, so that gives mm. you guys some space to run past. And you know, I'm just gonna um, just smile a lot and just like wave. Glory! <laughs> Just like, give a wink. What's that last bit? Give a little cheeky giggle at me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So hopefully they should be looking at me at this point. Yeah, I'm just acting like a woman, so I'm just like, okay. Yeah, but is there anything you... Acting like a woman. That's one of... That is going to be one of the best actions so far. Um... So, so is, is there anything you say to them? Do you do you just stand there and act like a woman? So yeah, I walk up to them. <laughs> I walk up to them, like swinging my hips and put my arm up and like give a little wave, and then I say "come in," like smile. Right, they're buying it. They're buying it. <laughs> they're, they're all, like, two of them have seen you. Okay. And they're coming. They're coming over. The third one's not so sure though, it's, it's thinking about it. It might right. it might it might be I don't know, it might have other preferences, yeah. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, so yeah, two of them are coming towards you and they're right in front of you now. Um what, what are the rest of you doing? Yeah, sneaking past. Thank you, thank you. Past the, the one guy. How you how are you gonna get the third one's attention? Because he's gonna see them. Yeah. Um the, can I poke them? End of a tree because I'm a tree, and then just keep on giving his attention. Just poke him and just stand still. Do you want to do, uh, if you want to do that, all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, you, you go over, <laughs> and then what do you do? You just sort of. I'm just gonna. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna stand really still mm. and just like tap on his shoulder. And he turns around. And then just sees this tree right behind him. <laughs> he's really suspicious. He, he looks behind the tree to see if there's someone like hiding behind the tree. Um, he, he, he's not. He's not got very good memory, so he can't like say. I don't remember there being a tree there before. Um, and Dumb. what the rest of you? Are you all running into the tomb. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So you. Yeah. You've all got in. Um, what about you two though? What about Zhao and Frank? How are you going to get in? Because Frank's occupying these two go lines and Jules being a dick to this I'm other one. I'm trying to do it to the very last minute. I'm trying to like... I'm, I'm not liking it. It's a, it's a complete... It's a wide open entrance. You just will go straight in. How fast can you run, Jenny? Well, I was thinking I could just... Because they're, you know, interested in me and that. I could just... Give them... Keep smiling and just be like... Over here? Can I go over here? And hopefully they'll let me go. Okay. I don't know what their reaction would be uh, like. They keep, like. They keep looking at one another, but they're mostly fixed upon you. They don't. They don't. They don't make any sounds or anything. Uh, but so you walk to the entrance or sort of slide over to the entrance, but they're just. They're not moving at all. They're just looking up straight at you. Yeah, and, and I, I'm just like, I'm not turning my back or anything, I just mm. keep looking at them, smiling and like waving and mm. being all, yeah, girly. Flamboyant. Fabulous. Yeah. Ask them if they want to go back to their, go back to their room and just follow them in. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So you're just going to give yeah. them a slip? Yeah. While they're transfixed. Okay. And we roll for that. Cool. Yeah, you've just slipped straight into the entrance, completely out of the, the eyesight. What about this one with Zhao though? This one that's getting a bit annoyed, a bit agitated. <laughs> so your plans worked so far. Okay, can I? But you're um, you're on your you're on your own. You've now I'm got three. Pokemon is there's now left three shoulder. of them. Yeah. Okay. And when I see, does it have a head? Um. Yeah. Yeah. When, it, so when I see its head turn round left, can I walk round to its right and just stand there? What, a whole tree? A tree. <laughs> you think you're going to rustle? <laughs> okay, do you want to do that? Uh, you okay. said I have bad memory, 
angry, so I'm going to tell right, you okay. when it I'll... turns around to look, I'm right, I'll... on his back. I'll roll, and if it's high, you'll, you'll succeed. <laughs> Shit. Sure. You want to do that? No. Sure? <laughs> do it. <laughs> Fine. Okay, here we go. Ah. You tap his shoulder, and it, it turns its head, and you elegantly tiptoe, root toe, round the right side of him. Not a single leaf bristles in the wind, despite all this. And <laughs> as as um, as it turns its head back forward, it just gets a glimpse of this dead, bearded man hovering in midair and flying into the entrance of the tomb. <laughs> and it's just like. Uh, <laughs> a lost soul's return back to its resting place. Oh yeah, it's a tomb. Yeah. So well done, you guys managed to get in the tomb. Sweet. Got those out. We are in. And there are yes. we are fine. Awesome. Oh, shit. <sighs>